South Korea has been offering official development assistance to developing countries around the world for a number of years now. And the latest country to benefit from the aid program is the Democratic Republic of the Congo, which is seeking guidance in preserving its heritage. Our Kan hyung woo has more. The Korea Cultural Heritage Foundation has put together a cultural workshop for government officials from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. DR Congo is building a new national museum because the old one was small, in poor condition, and not easily accessible. But even a brand new museum cannot guarantee the preservation of the country's heritage. The main message of the seminar is improving overall awareness and expertise in modern museums, and it seems to have been well received after the 20-day training session. Through these three weeks of training, I was able to improve my expertise in culture as a whole and learned a lot about how to preserve and manage a country's cultural heritage. The participants went to visit the National Museum of Korea, the Jeonggok Prehistory Museum, and a number of other advanced museums in South Korea to get an idea of how to preserve their own heritage. In addition to the museums, the Congolese officials learned about other ways the South Korean government works to preserve the country's cultural legacy. I explained the administrative system of protecting Korea's cultural assets. I also told them how Korea is utilizing this system in education and for tourism. Having completed the workshop, the officials will return to the Democratic Republic of the Congo to implement what they've learned. Kan Young-woo, Arirang News.